The first fortress of World 7 is a really cryptic place and unless you know exactly what to do, you're gonna be here for a while. But fortunately, this is also the place with the famous infinite one-up trick. There are a few infinite one-up tricks throughout the game, but this is by far the easiest. Even I can pull this off, and even you can pull this off. So now what you do is that you go up here and you grab the mushroom and now you gotta be careful not to fall into the lava. You go back through this door and after that you go back to the room you started in. Whoa, whoa, I said go in the door. And want, now that you're Super Mario, you can break these blocks and you can find this P block at a really arbitrary place. How are you supposed to figure that out? Anyway, you go through that hidden door and once that's done, you go in the pipe, you wait until the P switch has expired and BOOM! Tanuki suit! So now that we got the Tanuki suit, we could finish the fortress right now, but how about I show you the trick to infinite one-ups? Well, you already caught a glimpse of it when I pressed that switch earlier, but now I'm gonna show you just how incredibly effective it is. So go through the door, once again, Activate that really hard to find P switch unless you have a strategy guide. What were they thinking? And press the switch and boom! Scrooge McDuck swimming pool! Yeah, you grab coins, you grab coins, you grab coins, and by the way, yeah, the, yeah this place has a really tight time limit 200 seconds. That's probably. Uh, for the, the reason that uh, you can't abuse this, uh, this trick too much, but if you're good enough, you can still gain a dozen lives in a single run. So I'm gonna gather some more lives and I'll be right back to complete this fortress. I'm back with brand new extra lives, 99 of them in total. So what you do once you're done here, you have to fly up to this hidden pipe here, hence why you need the tanuki suit. And come on, let's try this again. And yeah, that was that didn't take a long time. No need to put a wrench on a controller and wait all night long like the nerd did did in that one vi video about uh, I think it was a transform no not transformer is a Terminator game. Sorry. So boom boom, the only enemy in this entire fortress. Oh man, I just got Nick my Tanuki suit off. Wonderful. Come on, come down, come down. Yeah! Well, this went better than the last time I, I allowed him boom, boom, boom to fly. This fight isn't going to be ending up on TV tropes, folks. Okay, so I think 99 lives are enough to finish this game, what do you think? Oh, and uh, we got a card flip game to play here. Mushroom, let's try this one. Completely random choice. Okay. Flower. Ah! Stupid. Stupid! Okay, I didn't want to press the button, but... I don't know. What? what, what? Oh! Another card game?! What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh?! And, ah... Uh, I'm sucking so hard at this, in this LP. Nope. Nothing doing, and... Oh, another one?! Are you kidding me?! How many of these are there?! Oh man. Okay, we got a star and the other one the other one nope, it's a 20 20 coins. I flipped that card earlier, I think. 10. 10. Okay. So now we got a flower and where's the last one? Where's the last flower? Nope. Tw 20 coins there. And another one? Well, I think I did that Yu-Gi-Oh joke a little too soon. This is ridiculous. Anyway, nope. I flipped that card before, how am I not remembering that? At least I remembered where the other mushroom was. One up here, one up there. Now that I need it. Flower. And another flower, yep. 
and okay, star, and the last star is there, and this leaves the two 20 coins cards here. So now we're done with that particular deck, and we're done with the, the card flip marathon as well. So now we're going to the slot machines, and yes, I know it's useless since I already have max lives, but I suck so much it's not like I'm going to ever get lives from this thing. Level 7-6, which is a level with a very specific theme, directional lifts. So, first things first, we gotta get ahead of those stairs, watch that Koopa Troopa get funky with the other one, and, oh please, ah! Uh, and by the way, as you probably noticed, in this stage, if you mess up, you go back. Way, way back. Now if I can just get up on that directional lift here with a, a light bulb or an exclamation point, I don't know what it is. And yeah, on those lifts, when you jump, it changes direction. It's up, up, left, right, up, no, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, right. Okay, now you jump on this one. Be careful not to get squished. This part is actually easier when you're little Mario. And please, 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 okay. I was hoping that Piranha Plant would get out of the way. No, come on, come on, come on, no! Oh, well, at least I didn't fall too low. Gotta redo this part again. Come on. And here we go. Whoa! Overshot! And that is the danger of overshooting a jump. You end up dying to a randomly placed Piranha Plant. Let's try this again, hopefully with less failure. Watch out for the Koopa Troopas, don't want to die to the first Koopa Troopas before I even step foot on a directional lift. And, okay, please stop bouncing. Yeah, ooh, that was close. So, up, right, up, and there we go. So now, once again, avoid the spikes, avoid getting squashed, and, okay, get out of the way. Thank you very much. And this part, too, is easier as little Mario. In fact, it's, it seems this whole level is easier as little Mario. So now jump on the light bulb and continue doing what you do. This one here is bait. It's not a good directional lift. You don't have to take it. In fact, you have to not take it. You have to avoid it. This one is for real. This one is for real. This one is for real as well. And what you do is that you get up there, get up, said, and the I think this is the last directional lift in the in the level actually. So whoa! Was about to get squished there. But it's all okay because that level is finally over. Wow, it was a lot shorter than I remembered it to be. So level seven six down and the next one. I am going to suffer so much in that one. Remember what happened the last time I was in a stage where you had to grab stars before your current star ran out? Yeah, this is another one of these. But you actually need the stars to continue through this level now. But nonetheless, this is one of the most fun levels in the entire game, as long as you don't suck completely. So this is the first star. Yeah, see what you mean? See what I meant when I when I said you were forced? Come on, come on! Get back here! Get back here! Thank you! So, yeah. This place is full of invincible piranha plants. Come on! No, 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 no! Please don't die! Don't die! Yeah! Ooh, that was close again. Perfect jump here! I often mess this one up. So, now another star. Yeah! And when's the next one? Oh, th that place there was really easy to mess up. If you're big, you're probably going to die because you can't run fast enough. But this level is also easier as a small Mario, if you can believe it. Two in a row. And now, oh, another card flip game? Well, let's try the slot machine first. And flower, star, well, Slowflake, creating crazy slot machine mutants since 2009. And let's try the card flip game, and after that I'm going to end this video right here and begin another one so that I can try to finish this world, because I'm tired of it! And, okay, two flowers, and nope. So, I'll be back in a couple seconds.